Alright guys, this is a basic tutorial on the X8i. So, nothing to be afraid of here. Uh, we're going to start, we've got our display, and then we've also got our LEDs. So, we'll start with the LEDs. This blue LED is for connectivity. So, as you can see, uh, number one is flashing really fast. That means, hey, I'm trying to talk to number one, can't talk to it, something's wrong. These two are solid, that means they're talking good. And four and five are slowly blinking, that means they're in maintenance mode. That means I know there's a compressor there, but I'm not talking to it. So, uh, since we can't talk to number one, I know that this compressor is down, I'm gonna put it into maintenance mode. So we'll see that in a minute. The second LED, the orange one, is for uh, compressor status, the motor. Is this machine is solid means that it is on, no light means it's off. And the top button is low, or the top LED is load. So if that green LED on the top is green, that means that compressor is loaded. However, the weird thing is that you cannot trust these LEDs. These LEDs are notorious for going out and uh, they may not represent what the X8i is actually doing or seeing. So let's go to the screen over here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, hit this button. So it's gonna ask me for the password. I hit zero, zero, two, one. 21 is the password, that lets me in. All right, great. So I'm in. If I go back to the main screen, uh, I know that I'm operating on table number one. So you see that one right there? So that means everything that we need to do to uh, operate is gonna be on table one. So hit the menu button and let's go down to table one. All right, so here's what we see. So this first, this thing that's currently highlighted is pH. That means high pressure. You see it's currently set to 113 PSI. So that's essentially your unload pressure. If you get to that point, you'll start unloading compressors. PL is your load pressure. So that's your low pressure. That's essentially 105. So if we get down to that point, we start loading compressors. And your PM is your minimum. That's what I call the oh shit pressure. So if you get to that, it's just gonna immediately load every compressor. Go to here, this is an energy mode. That's usually where you wanna keep it. So it operates most efficiently. You can also do equal hours, but typically we like energy mode. Now we go to compressors. This says compressor one is priority one. Compressor two is priority one. That's how we read it. Compressor three is priority one. Compressor four is priority two. And compressor five is also priority two. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to operate everything within the priority one first. If it still can't keep up, then it's gonna load compressors from priority two. All right? Um, so that's just kind of how you can set, you know, tell it to which one to control. If you're truly wanting the X8i to do all the work, you should just uh, put all compressors to priority one and let it do its thing. All right, one more thing we're gonna check. Like I said, we're gonna put compressor one into maintenance mode since it's currently down. So I hit this, uh, I hit the back button, that's C, and now I wanna go over to, so those are all table one, two, three, four. We don't need to worry about any of this stuff. To put something into maintenance mode, you go to where you get finger and wrench. So click that, and I'm gonna go to compressor one. It's currently a check mark. I wanna make that be an X. That means don't look for it, it's in maintenance mode. And now, as you can see, number one is doing that slow blink, and I no longer have a warning on my X8i. Everything's looking good. All right, that's 90% of what you will have to do with an X8i.